Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Ray Luna. For today's reading, we're looking into who will you date next? So we're looking into their personality, what they'll like about you, and also the way they might look. So for group number one, we have Aragonite. For group number two, we have Opalite. And for group number three, we have Lapis Lazuli. So take your time and pause the video if you need more time to decide what card and crystal is calling out to you. And once you have chosen, head to the description or comment section to click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. Welcome to your reading group number one. With your cards here, we have Give It Time, Sunglasses, A Teddy Bear, Cloudy Time, and then we have the sixth house. So what I see here for who you will date next is with Give It Time, I think the next person you're going to date is a person who's going to take things slower. They're going to need some time. I feel like this person that you will date next has previously left a relationship. So they likely just left this relationship and that relationship could have gave them a lot of difficulty and they could have took some time to recover from that. So they want to make sure the next person they date is going to be respectful of them, respectful of their time. So this person might not be super forthcoming at first. They might be a little distant at first. But I think it's because they're trying to approach this in a way where they're not going to get hurt. But I also think they don't want to hurt you guys as well. So they're just trying to take things at their own pace. I also see here with sunglasses, this person is kind of like a spy. So they're trying to figure out the situation with you um, before they move forward. Once again, that caution coming through. But I also think this person wants to make sure that you're serious. They want to make sure they see your true intentions before they reveal all of themselves to you. And with a teddy bear here, this person really is someone who is soft and caring. They are gentle. I also think it's possible this person could be bigger in stature because of teddy bear. Um, someone who's kind of more like, like bigger, like wider shoulders or a person who has a tough physique regardless of gender. This person also could be tall regardless of gender. But this person doesn't want to be giving lots of care to everyone. So they want to make sure you're the right person to do, to do that with. I think they also might look at your social media um, before they go out on a date with you with sunglasses. Again, trying to make sure they understand what they're getting into before they go ahead. And with the sixth house here, this person, this is a card that represents what they're currently working on or focusing on in their life right now. So I feel like their life is a little mundane right now. They're focusing on the basics, the things that need to get done. So like they're trying to make sure their environment's clean, like their dishes are done, their bed's made, their laundry's ready. Um, they're trying to make sure their health's in check, like they're eating the right things. Basically, they're just focusing on the mundane things and trying to get their life in check right now. So that also might make the person seem a little bit more distant when they are talking to you because it might seem like they don't have a lot going on. But that's just because this person's trying to get their life together, keep it in check, and they're trying to make sure everything's balanced out for themselves so that they can pursue a new relationship after coming out of this period of time where um, it wasn't that great and it was kind of difficult to move on from the previous relationship they were in. So I'm going to put down some more cards, some tarot cards, and see more about this person's personality. Okay, with these cards here, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Four of Wands, Seven of Cups, the Chariot, Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. So with this person's personality, they're definitely someone who's focused on accomplishing a lot. 
They want recognition. They want to be someone who, in their community, gets respect and rewards. I also feel like this person is currently focusing on basics because they want to balance things out in their life so they can keep doing more. With the Two of Pentacles, it's like this person wants multiple areas of their life a certain way. So they try to invest the resources they have into their career, into their hobbies, into their family and relationships. This person wants a lot of everything. So they're really trying their best to get their life together with basics so they have more time to do so. I also feel like this person is also, they're doing this because they want a good romantic relationship. So they're trying to improve themselves so that the next person they're with, hopefully the relationship will work out and stay long term versus this person's previous relationship, which ended and gave this person quite a difficult time because it seems like they have issues with trusting someone to move forward or they're going to need more time versus, I guess, the average amount of time um, that's normally needed. So this person isn't bad. They just have a lot of stuff. They went through romantically with the previous person that's hurting them now. And with the chariot and the nine of swords here, we can see like this person is hesitant to move forward. They're cautious. I also feel like this person's personality, they could naturally have cautious traits anyway, even without this happening. So this kind of just increased that. Another thing to note here, with the Four of Wands and the Seven of Cups, I feel like this is someone who really wants to have a nice home environment. So I'm not only talking about, oh, they want to emotionally feel comfortable in their environment. I feel like this person could work or like as a hobby, interior design, something to do like maybe construction, anything to do with home, like the way it looks, the decor, the actual building itself, outside work, like flowers, gardens, like this person wants everything to look a certain way. They want their home to be a work of art. They want it to reflect their own personality. So this is something interesting about them. I also feel here too, this person thinks of you guys with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. I feel like maybe this person can't really decide 100% if you are more so someone who is like the Queen of Pentacles, very open, abundant. I would even say maybe too, like a little bit more extroverted or with the Queen of Swords, they can't tell if you're a little bit more reserved and guarded and maybe a little bit more introverted. So I feel like this person might have trouble at first understanding your personality but I do think they like you because there's two queens here. So this is like someone who's on top of something, someone who is a ruler in something. So I feel like this person does like you um, or will like you, I should say. But they are going to have trouble understanding you at first. Maybe that's also why they need more time. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what this person might look like. Okay, with these cards here, we have young, dark eyeshadow, high cheekbones, and sad eyes. So the first thing I'm seeing here with two cards talking about the eyes, um, I feel like this person could have eyes with a little bit of like discoloration, like the color around their eyes is a little bit darker, like they could have eye circles, they could just be really overworked a lot, so they could look a little bit tired around their eyes because this person with that Two of Pentacles card, like I said, they're busy. They are a little stressed. They're trying to get things together, um, but they are working on it. <laughs> um, so this person might look a little bit tired in their eyes or on their face. I do think, too, this person's eyes, like the shape of their eyes, could be a little bit more like downward turned because sometimes when people have that type of eye shape, their eyes can look a little sad, but sometimes 
Their eyes, too, also look a little calming or relaxing. This person has a really good face structure here with high cheekbones, of course. They could have a strong cheekbone, but also jawline as well. A lot of people with strong cheeks also have a strong jawline. This person also could be younger than you with young, so they could be physically younger than you multiple years. It's also possible if this person is the same age or they're older than you, um, they could just look younger than you or they have a very youthful appearance, so they might look like five or ten years younger than they actually are. I also think it's possible this person could have a young spirit, a young soul, so they might have things about them that are childlike, even though they are busy, they're responsible in some ways, they still might have a, like a youthful, quirky type of personality. So that was your reading group number one. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number two with your cards here. We have perfect timing, cherry on top, dying love, taking a gamble in the 11th house. So what I see here for who you're going to date next, I feel like this next person who's going to come in Everything kind of just works out, like the right place, the right time. Things are just right. So some of you guys could be watching this reading just for fun. Like maybe you don't even care. You know, you're just watching this for entertainment and then you're getting this message right now that's saying like this person could come in and ask you out. And even though you're not looking for it, it kind of just works like this person is someone you'll just be attracted to, personality-wise, looks-wise. Maybe they even invite you to a place you already really like, like a restaurant or whatever activity you guys could be doing. It's something like, you're like, oh, I love to go to that place, right? So there's something like this. And if you are someone, you're watching this, not just for fun, but you are you're actively looking, right? This could be that you could have been previously dating someone and things were going good, but it's starting to die, like that spark or the connection. It's not really there anymore. So this person could come in and ask you out or you guys mutually agree to go someplace together and it just it's just right, okay? <laughs> like it's exactly what you want. It's better chemistry and you're willing to take a chance on this person because you know your other connection is starting to fade out or it's not exactly how you wanted it to be, how you want it to be anymore. I also feel here with taking a gamble, this always brings, of course, the element of risk or something you're not expecting so maybe some of you guys too you could have been planning a break from like dating people or romance and then this just comes in and it's worth taking a chance on like this person is showing you traits that make it so you're willing to stop that pause you're willing to go again i also think too sorry there's a lot of messages here um with dying love I feel like it's possible this person you're going to date next to, it might not just be you guys. This person too could be in a similar situation where they weren't initially looking for someone or their other connection starting to fade out. There's something like that where they're going to share a story with you. They're going to be mirroring um, a shared experience with romance. And currently this person what they're focused on most right now in their life with the 11th house. This person is focused on building connections. 
So that means like friend groups, connections at work like business, business partners, new friends, maybe trying to join clubs or organizations, helping out with charity work. So this person is focused on those activities right now. But it's not necessarily like romantic connections. So that's why I feel like there's some type of element here of surprise where you or they weren't expecting this, but it just works out. So now I'm going to put down some tarot cards for you guys and see what this person's personality is like. Okay, with your tarot cards here, you have the Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, the Hierophant, Knight of Wands, the Lovers, Justice, the Fool, and the Ace of Swords. So right here, with the Ten of Swords and the Four of Swords, it's like resting from something ending or something kind of like being the worst it can be or a lack of something, right? So I feel like for you and this person, it's kind of like you guys are ready for this to happen. Now you can be dating someone or focusing on romantic things now. Or if that spark or previous connection died for either one of you, it's like now you're ready for this new one to come in, depending on your situation. But it's like kind of divine, like divine timing here with the Hierophant, justice. It's kind of feels like this is meant for you guys to have this happen. You're meant to have a love connection. Maybe you and this person are meant to learn something together. Like you're going to teach this person something. They're going to teach you something in relation to love. But I feel like this is really needed for you guys to have something more fun in your life. I feel like this person also needs this to have more fun. I feel like this person has a good personality too with the Knight of Wands. They could be very like fiery in a way. Like they're bold. They're direct. But they also know how to have fun. They're also someone who's going to initiate things. They're not going to wait around or wait for you to constantly ask them like what, what they're thinking, what they want to do. They're going to be very direct with you and often just say what they want, just say what they think. So communication should be easy with this person. I also feel like this could be a healing connection. So regardless if you and this person work out long term, I feel like if anything were to, you know, end, it's kind of like you're both mutually okay with it and you become friends if it doesn't work out. So either way, this feels like a really mature person and a good person to have in your life. I also feel here with the Fool and the Ace of Swords, this person sees you as someone who could be a new adventure for them, like you're a fun person to be around. Like this is something that's going to take their life from kind of being mundane to a little bit more uplifting. So this person's going to look forward to your communications. Like if you text them, they're going to get excited. If you talk to them, it's going to make their day. So this person really likes connecting with you, your thoughts and your ideas as well. I think you guys are someone who is intellectually stimulating. So not only like, are you good looking to this person? They can have a conversation with you, you know, um, they want to hear your ideas and your ideas are something like they look forward to hearing them and what you have to think as well. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what this person might look like. Okay, with these cards here, we have makeup, tattoo, brown eyes, and plain Jane. So what I'm seeing here, I feel like it's possible that one of you guys is someone who has a lot of tattoos, makeup, um, you have a unique look or more of a modern type of look. 
And then the other of you is someone who's more like a plain Jane and you don't really have that look. So it's going to be like you two are opposite in appearances from each other. So depending on what look you guys have, this person's going to be the opposite of you. Like if you're more, you know, someone who doesn't have tattoos, you have more like calm or neutral type of style with your colors, um, your makeup, whatever, that person's going to be the direct opposite and be very like crazy with the colors they like. They're going to have many tattoos. I also think it's possible that this person could have a tattoo. That's very noticeable if they're the person who, you know, is more decorated. This person is going to have a really interesting tattoo. Maybe they'll talk about it to you on this date or you ask questions about it. Or this could be you guys. Maybe you guys have an interesting tattoo if you're the more decorated person and the date will ask you about it. And lastly here, this is a little bit more self-explanatory, but with brown eyes, I feel like this person is definitely going to have darker colored eyes. And with all these photos here, the people all have darker colored eyes. So this person definitely will have striking brown eyes, maybe a more piercing gaze. Like they have a more of a fierce look facially. So that's also going to be something you notice about them. But that was the end of your reading, group number two. Hopefully this reading wasn't too noisy. I had to pause a couple of times because I had planes flying over and yeah, just a bunch of noise. So hopefully most of that is not in the way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing, hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. But I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you in the next reading. Bye. Welcome to your reading group number three. With your cards here, we have contract, hiding out, wheel of change, stormy days, and the fifth house. So what I see here is this person who you will date next. I feel like it's possible you guys might actually know them already. You don't have to, but picking up on the energy it does feel like some of you guys will know this person because the hiding out card is like this person has interactions with you day to day and they might be avoiding you for a while. Um, not necessarily negatively, but they could be avoiding you for some reason <laughs> until they're ready to talk to you. So this person who could be hiding out or avoiding you, I do think they want to talk to you eventually, but they might be afraid of how you will react. <laughs> Maybe they think it won't work out because I feel like this person, they're trying to change their own mind, their own perception from being negative with stormy days. They're trying to change their mind from something negative to something more positive. So from stormy days to wheel of fortune or the wheel of change. See, like that's what it makes me think of, the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this person is trying to shift their mind from one thing to another because of their previous experience and love was blocked. Or things didn't work out for them in the way that they have hoped. So they could be trying to prepare or find a good time to finally approach you. I also see here with contract, I feel like this person is more serious. They do want to have a person to commit with more seriously, but maybe they have not found the one or they have been burned in the past. So they're trying to make sure that they can approach you and hopefully not have their heart broken. It feels like they're kind of scared or timid, but they're trying to build up that courage to come forward, especially if you guys already have a relationship, this could be why. Like, they don't want to ruin it if you guys are already friends. I do see here too with fifth house, this person is actually more so focused on romance and love right now. This person's focused on 
being creative as well. So this person is very much in tune with romance and romantic relationships right now. They're not really paying attention to work or other things. They really want to have love in their life. So this is a good thing in this type of reading. So you know this person will be serious because they're seriously focusing on this area of life. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards for you guys and see what this person's personality is like. Okay, with these cards here, we have the Hanged Man, Ace of Wands, the Sun, Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Three of Cups, King of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. So what I see here is that this person's personality with the Hanged Man, yeah, like they are pausing and hesitating to move forward. They're thinking things through, but they are inspired and want to take action eventually with the Ace of Wands. Like they want to um, be forward with you. They want to ask you out or they want you to ask them out. Like they do want something to happen here, but you know, like they need a little bit of time or they're nervous because of what they're thinking. This person might have an overactive imagination. So they might be thinking, okay, I'm going to ask this person out and it's going to be the worst case scenario or something like that. They're just worried. But with the sun and the three of pentacles, I do think this person is someone like if you know them, this is especially true. You will see in the workplace, like maybe some of you guys too, like this is someone you work with. But I do think this person goes above and beyond. They're a hard worker. They do seem to be someone who's funny or they have a cheerful disposition, even though they're sometimes nervous and might hold themselves back. They are still a fun person to be around. I feel like they brighten people's day with the sun. Maybe they help people like with their work. They make things easier for everyone at their workplace. Yeah, I'm definitely picking up something with the workplace. So this could be a coworker. But this person, yes, like they are very kind. I also feel like this person, this is someone like with the three of cups here, they're gonna make a toast or say cheers when people like achieve something. They're the type of person who likes to celebrate other people's accomplishments. They also are celebrated for their own accomplishments. But I think they like to they like to make other people feel special and celebrated. Like they're the first one to like raise their glass and say like, "Oh, I want to say, you know, really positive things about so and so. I want to congratulate so and so on everything they have achieved recently." With the 6 of cups, that past energy um definitely someone you guys can know or they could give like nostalgic feelings. For some reason, maybe this person reminds you of someone you knew from your past if you don't know them from then. I definitely think most of you guys will though um, know them from your past. But they could have something about them that's very like nostalgic or sweet. And the way this person feels about you guys with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this person might think you're serious. Like you're all about business. You're about getting the bag. You're not playing, okay? <laughs> That's what this person feels. So maybe this is why they could be nervous. Maybe you guys are intimidating or you're very like money oriented. You're very practical, responsible. There's something about you that's like willing to achieve. You're very ambitious. You're organized. So I feel like this person kind of has a little bit of an insecurity compared to you. So maybe this person feels like they might seem a little goofy to you. Um, maybe they feel like you won't take them seriously. So this is also why they're hesitating. But they do like you guys. They just think you guys are maybe more so focused on career or other aspirations at the moment. 
So I'm going to put down some other cards so we can see how this person might look. Okay, with these cards here, we have plastic, soft features, braces, and dark eyes. So this person, more self-explanatory, this person could have dark colored eyes or they could even wear dark colored contacts if they don't um, naturally have dark colored eyes. I also feel like this person could have larger eyes because in this picture, the woman looks like she has pretty big eyes, like deeper set type of eyes. So this person could have those type of features, like bigger eyes, bigger lips. I also see here with braces, it's possible that this person could have braces or they might have a retainer like an Invisalign, um, those clear retainers, something like that. They could have very white teeth or they could have something about their teeth in particular that's noticeable. And this isn't for everyone, but something I also think of as well is like, um, there's something called like teeth or tooth gems. They're not supposed to be good <laughs> for your teeth because I think they make them decay faster, but some people have those. So maybe this person has something like that on their teeth. With plastic, I feel like this person, they take care of their appearance, so they might be very focused on their appearance. They might look like too perfect in a way because um, maybe they get procedures, like maybe they do Botox or they have previously gotten plastic surgery on their appearance or it's also possible like they're just very put together in a way that kind of seems suspicious, like plastic-y, if that makes sense, like it's kind of fake. I don't sense this person's fake, but they might just look, um, they might look different from how their personality actually is. So they might look um, opposite of their personality. And with soft features, I feel like this person, with their bigger features, they also could look young. And bigger features can look softer at times versus like thinner features can be sharper. So maybe this person has a softness about their face. Like the lines, they have more round, big features. So that's interesting as well. But that's all I have for you guys. That's the end of your reading. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like it, consider liking the video, subscribing if you haven't yet hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any other videos like this. But I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Bye.